And in this video, what I'm gonna show you is how simple and easy it is to add password protection to either a post or to a page. It doesn't matter which one you use. And the reason why you actually wanna use this is um, if there's specific content that you only wanna to show to your clients, that you only wanna allow them to have access to see this information. Uh, and on that page, you could have PDFs or videos or anything like that. Now, just to make you aware, this is not really a high-end password protected, so I wouldn't put um, you know, very valuable information in there, um, you know, like bank account information or credit card numbers or any of that type stuff. Um, I would I would seek out another solution. But if you want to to make it so that um, it's you know it's it's very s simple password, something that's not uh, you know doesn't have to necessarily be uh, really really secure. This is a great way to do that to kind of password protect some information. Email it over to a client; they can log in and download a PDF or or watch a video. Uh, any type of media that, that you feel would be necessary to password protect. So the first thing that you need to do, of course, is log into the admin of your website. And uh, it'll take you right to your dashboard. And again, it doesn't matter which one you work with. Uh, and we actually have some pages created. So uh, what we'll do is we'll work with pages. And let's go ahead and password protect our services page. So uh, since I've already created it, I'm going to go in and actually I'm going to edit the uh, edit the page. And you come over here to the right hand side uh, by publish, and you're going to see status, which is published, and then visibility. We want to click edit, and you're going to have a couple of options here. You have private or public, where it actually anybody can see it. You have password protection, which is what we're talking about, and then you also have private. But in this video, we're talking about password protect. So it's very, very simple to password protect a page. And all you do is you click that radio button, you type in your password, uh, which uh, mine will be FoxDM, uh, which is the name of my other company, Fox Digital Media, where I do graphic design and, and web design for, for companies. And come down here to the bottom, and you click OK. And it's not activated yet because what you're going to need to do is actually click update to update the page. And once it's done loading, uh, we'll go over to the site, uh, over to the page. And as you can see, it is now password protected. And uh, we can't see the content of the page until we type in our password. And once you type in the password, um, that was just a notification. It grants access, and you can see right up here in the title, it says protected services. Now, let's say um, that I'm now password protected, and I'm ready to remove it and just open it up to the public. You go back to the page. Um, you go back over to publish, and you can click edit, and you can just click public. Or you can even change the password if you want to do that. You can change that if you know, you've given it out too much and you want to change it, you can do that. Or you just click public and click update again. And go ahead and refresh the page, and you can see it, take the, it took the protected away, and now it's just a regular post. So that's how simple and easy it is to password protect a page or a post, and you do it exactly the same on either side. And there's, there could be a lot of reasons to do that. Um, you, your whole site may be password protected, and you want to do that for your users, uh, and you're going to have to share that password with people so that they can log in and, and get into it. So thank you guys very much for visiting the Digital Fox. Uh, WordPress quick tip. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please use the comment box down below. Uh, I, I promise I'll get back with you with an answer to your question. Uh, and also, uh, I'll share with you any other solutions that I can help you to make your website better and to take uh, the site to the next level. Uh, and also, please help to continue uh, to share these videos um, by, uh, you know, following me on Facebook or sharing this on Twitter. And I thank you guys very much and I look forward to seeing you online soon.